What up guys, Red Viking here. Huge news coming out of CD Projekt Red, where they are remaking the original Witcher game. That's right guys, it was shown here on Twitter earlier. The official Witcher Twitter, they posted, We are thrilled to reveal that together with Fool's Theory, we're working on remaking the Witcher using Unreal Engine 5. So the original codename for this was Canis Majoris. And now we know that that is the Witcher remaster. As well, they said, we want to do this right, so please be patient. It's going to be a while until we can share more details. Now, if you guys don't know who Fool's Theory is, don't worry, I didn't know who they were either. They're best known for helping out with Larian Studios on creating Divinity Original Sin 2, as well as the Baldur's Gate 3. Now, when you click on the link from the tweet, so we're going to skip the first sentence because really that is exactly the same as what they tweeted out. But they do go on to say the game is currently in the early stages of development at the Polish studio Fool's Theory, where veteran Witcher series staff are involved. We at CD Projekt Red are providing full creative supervision. So what does that say to me? That says to me that this game is a few years away. The Witcher remake is what you might know by the codename Canis Majoris. Still early, and we want to ensure that the game is created with the utmost care and attention to detail. Therefore, while we are excited to share the news with you, we want to ask you for patience, as it will be a while until we start talking about this project in detail. I do expect them to talk more about this in about a year from now. And then finally, the last paragraph that we're going to go on here. The Witcher is where it all started for us. For CD Projekt Red, it was the first game we made ever, and it was a big moment for us then. Going back to this place and remaking the game for the next generation of gamers to experience, it feels just as big, if not bigger, said Adam Badowski, head of studio CD Projekt Red. Collaborating with Fool's Theory on the project is just as exciting as some of the people there have been previously involved in the Witcher games. They know the source material well, they know how much gamers have been looking forward to seeing the remake happen, and they know how to make incredible and ambitious games. And although it'll take some time before we are ready to share more about and from the game, I know it'll be worth the wait. Now, I'm really, really, really curious how this is going to go. Because I have played, I've beat all three of the Witcher games, and the first Witcher game is definitely, it is by far the smallest in scope. So I'm very curious, are they going to... Make it a one for one and just have way better graphics, you know, make the combat much, much more modern day, as well as take out some of the things in the game. Because I remember this is quite a few years ago that I played this. But when I did, if you completed some quests, especially from the females, you get a card and it was usually something very lewd. I'm assuming that's probably going to be gone. However, I'm quite curious on what on earth is going to happen with that. As well with the game, quite curious if they're just going to make it way bigger in scope. Much more open world. Because the game itself, like I said, it was much smaller in scope. It was way more linear. But yeah, I can't wait. Because if there's one thing that I told people about this game years ago, it was play the game anyway. I know that it is super old. It is very very clunky the mechanics in the game they're they're just they do not age well as well as the graphics are very hit or miss i know a lot of people didn't like how Geralt looks back then however the story was really good it's an excellent twist at the end of the game i'm not going to spoil it because hey this game is going to come out again so i gotta keep it spoiler free for you guys but anyways guys let me know in the comments below what you think of this as well as if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, like the video, and I will see you guys again later.